New 10-hour infallible La Rouge. Do you feel it? Only from L'Oreal Paris. Because we're worth it. Are you the type of the lady that will not leave the house without a stitch of makeup? Or will you brave it to head out of the house to go to work without makeup? Well, yesterday when I was flying back from Limpopo, I went to the airport with not a stitch of makeup. And uh, it was quite a liberating feeling. I thought, what a great idea to invite a, a registered psychologist, at Carissa Bloomberg and Sylvie from L'Oreal to chat about women and makeup and the fact that makeup feels us, makes us feel brave. Well, that's just my, my idea of it. Before I ask you about that, Carissa, I wanted to ask about the history of makeup. How has makeup changed over the years? Well, I think historically makeup has actually played a very important part in women's lives. Um, you know, we can go all the way back, but in recent history, certainly during times like the Great Depression mm. in the 30s in the States, women were encouraged to put on a brave face for their men. It wasn't a vanity. It was something that you actually did to uplift the morale and the spirits. Mm. Um, again, during the war, women, women were provided with makeup to help them feel more humanized, to feel that they had a little something for themselves. Um, so I think makeup is something that is a small vanity, but it provides us with wonderful self-confidence and, mm -hmm. and it's nice to look at for the no, people around us. <laughs> I think I scared a few people yesterday no, going to the impossible. airport with no makeup. Okay. Impossible. What is uh, the psychology behind women wearing makeup and especially lipstick? I, I've noticed that lipstick really cheers a woman up. Absolutely. You know, our lips is the most central part of our whole face. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously we want to enhance that. And, you know, our mood also reflects on how, you know, what colour we're going to use. Do we want the romantic look with the lip gloss? Mm -hmm. Do we want to go bold and red, you know, mm -hmm. and powerful? That's no more mean sluttish anymore, by no, the way. No. no. Red is the number and one just... selling lipstick, isn't it? Well, yes. it, it absolutely is. And interestingly, uh, Gwen Stefani, who is one of our spokeswomen, mm -hmm. wears red lipstick and her ha because her husband loves it which is bizarre because in fact not a lot of men in fact i don't know if you've seen this are that keen on it and she says if the husband likes it the lipstick yeah. stays but the stats actually say men are that their yeah. eyes linger longer when a woman's wearing <laughs> it and we're wearing it in the boardroom as well you yes. know really it's a powerful statement mm. yeah, so is. absolutely but you know as you said it boosts our confidence our self-esteem it lights up a whole face i personally won't go out without my lipstick you know you can have nothing else on but that lipstick if it blends with your eyes your hair color it just makes such a statement and can change a whole mood. Now we've spoken about the psychological side of it and, and lots of women are buying more lipstick. We see yeah. it during recession, lipstick sales go up. Yeah, it's what they call the lipstick economy. Mm -hmm. And women, um, during times of recession, you obviously can't afford to buy the designer garment or the shoes, so you buy a little lipstick and that makes you feel good. It's a tiny little thing. Um, and it, we see lipstick sales going up during times of recession, yeah. unbelievably, yeah. But you know, it's a whole experience when you're buying the lipstick and it's trying it on. You know, mm. the, the whole world stops, nothing else matters. <laughs> and you know, you know how you build that whole relationship with your lipstick and if it goes out of stock, you know, my well, favorite that's it. color. Discontinued. Discontinued. Yeah, all a, our hearts have been broken. Yes. Yeah. So Often. it's a whole indulging experience. It is, it's an indulgence. What yeah. colors can we expect from L'Oreal this season? We're seeing, we're actually, we're knocking back a little bit on the super powerful brights. You'll mm. always see great reds from us. You'll always see corals. You'll always see fuchsia. Um, but we're doing slightly softer, more mm. velvety, sheer colorish style lipsticks and tinted lip glosses, which I My am favorite. loving. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us and for cheering us up on this Monday <laughs> and showing us how women can just feel good with just a little bit of lip color. You don't have to wear anything else when you go out the house. Now it's time to go over to Kia, who's got some details on what you, what's available from Smart Shopper from Pick and Pay. Over to you, Kia. New 10-hour infallible La Rouge. Do you feel it? Only from L'Oreal Paris. Because we're worth it. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.